Bethany, and I am a teaching artist with Meadow Arts, a nonprofit art organization located in Twist, Washington. And today is a special day because today is Martin Luther King Jr.'s birthday or MLK Day. And so we are going to do a specific project, what I call, um, we're going to call a freedom quilt. Uh, as a way to honor his life and the person that he is and was. Today is a special day because this Monday is civil rights leader Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Day. Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., or I'll just say Dr. King, is no longer alive, but we observe this day as a holiday to reflect on the meaning of his life and the work that he did. Dr. King was born in 1929, and when he was a young boy, children with white skin could not play or be in the same places as children with black skin. When people can't do the same things as other people because of their skin color, it's called segregation. Dr. King thought this was wrong to treat people differently because of how they looked. He devoted the rest of his life to trying to change things so everyone could be treated the same way no matter how they looked. He had dreams that one day everyone would be treated fairly and with kindness. To observe this day, we will be making a freedom quilt based on the quilt patterns that black slaves would use as maps to escape their places of slavery. Black people have been treated unfairly throughout history and still today are not treated as equally as, Mar as Dr. King wanted. Our freedom quilt will also be a map to how we can think about ways to treat each other no matter how different, with love and respect so that everyone can be free. Okay, so for this project, what you're gonna need is um, a piece of watercolor paper cut into a square shape, um, some water, watercolors, a brush, pencil, um, a pen, a permanent marker, just so it doesn't bleed when you add the water on top of the permit marker. Um, a paper towel and some crayons um, or even oil pastels. And then go ahead and pause the video. Once you have all these things in front of you, you can go ahead and press play and we'll get started. Okay, so in this project, um, like I said before, we're going to be using a quilt pattern um, that was created uh, by the slaves when they were um, escaping through the Underground Railroad. And they would use these patterns to communicate to one another um, various things uh, like what they should look for, like a log cabin, um, whether it was safe or not, and this pattern in particular um, is called the North Star pattern. And as you can see, it's made up of squares, triangles. Um, so we're going to divide our piece of watercolor paper into squares and triangles based on this. And we're also going to think about color and color emphasis or emphasis, creating emphasis through color. Um, and we're going to do that by combining warm versus cool colors. Uh, warm colors are going to be red, orange, and yellow. And then cool colors are going to be green, blue, and red. And when you put warm colors next to the cool colors, those warm colors are going to really stand out. So we want to make sure that these little um, writings that we create on thinking about uh, Dr. King's dream that everyone would be loved and respected equally uh, we're going to write those little ideas that you come up with in these corners, and we really want them to stand out. So we're going to use some bright, warm colors for those. So first step is, let's go ahead and grab our square piece of paper. And I'm going to use a pen for this step just so you can see clearly, but I would recommend um, using a pencil. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to divide our paper into thirds. So to do that, I'm going to just make a little mark right here and then right about here. Okay, so that's one, two, three, three sections. So I'm gonna go ahead and just draw a straight line down right here. 
and right here. Okay, and then you're going to turn your paper over and then do the same thing. So we're going to divide it up into thirds again. One, two, and three. So we have three sections now, and it's okay if they're not equal. It's fine if your lines are a little wobbly. Don't be too worried about that. Just do the best you can, okay? So now I have nine squares total, and we're gonna do one more thing. We're gonna add in now these triangles into these four squares. So I'm just gonna make a little mark where I want these lines to go. So I'm gonna go from the top corner down, from the top corner down, okay? And see, that line is definitely not straight, totally fine. And same thing, make a little mark from this corner down and from this corner down, okay? I'm gonna keep switching around and do the same thing all the way around the square, okay? Awesome. So now I have my basic quilt pattern here of squares and triangles. And so the next part is we're going to think about as far as how to think about ways that we can take care of each other. Uh, Dr. King was um, an advocate for making sure that everyone um, was treated equally and fairly and that everyone experienced freedom in the same way. So for you, I want you to just take a moment and first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna write down, I have a dream, which is part of a speech, a very famous speech that Dr. King gave about treating everyone equally and with fairness. And I want you to think about that. How would, what is your dream on how people would be treated fairly? What is the kind thing to do to others? And so I've written, that all people will take care of one another, all people will respect one another, all people will share what they have, all people will listen to one another. So I'm gonna go ahead and write that in each corner. And what you want to do too is to make sure that you're writing these down with a permanent marker so that they um, will stand out when we eventually put watercolor on top. So I'm gonna go ahead and just write those in the corners. And if you want to go ahead and take this moment just to pause the video, maybe you need to write these down on a separate sheet of paper, maybe you want to talk to your parents about this, maybe have a conversation. Um, there's also a lot of resources out there to watch um, maybe a YouTube video of Dr. King giving his I Have a Dream speech. So maybe just take a moment to do that right now and then talk to your friends, talk to your parents, and make a list of what you wanna write in your corners. And then when you're ready, you can come back and um, press play and I'll show you the next step of this video. Okay, okay so the next part is we are going to um, outline our design with uh, oil pastel, I'm gonna use a cool color because remember we talked about when you put cool colors next to warm colors, the cool colors will actually kind of recede or they fall back in the background and then the warm colors look like they kind of jump out or stand out um, in comparison. So I'm gonna use blue, but you could use green, you could use purple. Um, I'm gonna use a blue oil pastel. And again, if you don't have um, the blue or an oil pastel, you can use crayon. That's totally fine. So I'm just gonna go ahead and outline here this, the squares and the triangles. And what's gonna happen, the reason why I'm doing this is that the oil pastel and the crayon uh, or crayon creates kind of a barrier. And um, where I put my watercolor, it's not going to cross over um, the oil pastel. It's kind of like creating, I don't know, like a little, like a little wall just to contain the watercolor in one space here. Okay. So I'm going to go all the way around. All right. Okay. Just like that. 
And again, don't worry if your lines weren't straight like here. My line was not straight, so I just kind of did a thicker line. Totally okay. So the next thing that we're going to do is remember we want these phrases, uh, what you wrote here in the corners, to really stand out. You want people to be able to see your message. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to do warm colors here in the corner. So I'm going to get water and we're going to do a little bit of wet on wet, which means adding wet pigment or wet water color to a wet surface. Here we go. So now I'm going to get my brush and I'm going to do, I'm going to do some yellow. Okay. And I'm going to kind of just spread it around. What's fun about wet on wet is I can mix the colors a little bit. So if I just dab a little bit here on the edges, it spreads around and really kind of makes those colors stand out in fun ways. Okay. So I'm just going to go along the edges. And I'm going to go around and do the same thing. As you can see here in my example, I did the same thing on each of those corners, just so that they really stand out with those warm colors. So if you want to go ahead and pause the video again, and then just paint those corners, kind of like I'm doing, and then as well as the center. And then as soon as you're done with that, then you can um, press play again, and I'll show you the next step. Okay, so then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to fill in um, these areas with cool colors um, and we're going to still follow a pattern. So whatever color you end up doing here is going to be the same color that you do in these other larger triangles. Um, so here in my example, I did blue and then same thing in these smaller triangles, I ended up doing um, green. So. I'm going to go ahead and just not worry about the wet on wet technique. I'm going to take my brush here and just put the color right on the page. Um, but again, the nice thing is that that oil pastel is creating kind of this little um, kind of barrier so that the color doesn't go over. So you don't have to be too careful about your brush strokes. And I'm just going to go around and kind of follow that same pattern. So I'm going to do blue in all of these large triangles and then I'm going to go back and then I'm going to do green in all of these triangles. So you can go ahead and pause the video at this point and fill in those triangles with those colors and then I'll show you the next thing. All right, I hope you enjoyed creating this um, freedom quilt with me today uh, to celebrate um, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Day. And I would encourage you to do this with your friends, to do this with your parents, your family, um, and maybe just talk to one another about what you wrote down, what those things mean to you. Again, there's resources out there um, to learn a little bit more if you want to learn more about the Underground Railroad and the freedom quilts that were created through that. Um, if you want to listen to uh, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. speech, that is also available out there too on the internet. Lots of great read-alouds. Um, we'll try to put some links for you guys to go check out along with this video if you want additional resources. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this uh, project with me today and I will hopefully create with you um, some other time. Bye for now.